outside our solar system, titanic explosions rock the cosmos on a scale we can barely imagine. Far beyond the sun, we enter the realm of mega flares. Our sun is violent. Flares explode with the force of billions of atomic bombs. But travel out into the cosmos and the explosions get bigger. Other stars have flares so huge, they're planet killers. EV Lacerti is 16.5 light years from Earth. Every day, flares erupt on its surface. But one mega flare smashed every record. The star blasted out 10,000 times more X-rays than the sun's most powerful flare. The ultraviolet light was so intense, the star turned blue. This stellar firestorm, 100 trillion miles away, was visible from Earth with the naked eye. If our sun flared like this, we'd be incinerated. But E.B. Lacerti is a very different kind of star. Compared to our sun, it is tiny. This is a red dwarf. Red dwarfs are stars that have much less mass than the sun. They can be a tenth to about four tenths the mass of the sun. They're smaller, they're cooler. These are dinky stars. They burn so slowly that unlike our sun, which will last 10 billion years, some of them will last 10 trillion years. They're also relatively cold. Their surface is just 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, half the temperature of our sun and 10,000 times dimmer. Yet somehow, they're capable of staggering violence. That's because red dwarfs are immensely magnetic. The fields which form inside them are enormous, much more powerful than our suns. That means the magnetic field energy that can be released when those fields get twisted up is incredibly intense. And even though these objects are very dim in visible light, they can produce flares that are thousands of times more energetic than those released by the sun. You wouldn't want to be near one of those when it went off. All red dwarfs flare violently. But E.V. Lacerti's flares are off the chart. That's because it's young, just 300 million years old. 15 times younger than our sun. In one way, stars are a little bit like people. They're hotheads when they're younger. When stars are first born, they're spinning very rapidly, and that actually helps generate magnetic fields as well. The result, a star 100 times more magnetic than the sun. When its giant loops cross, the mega flare is colossal.
a torrent of radiation lasting eight hours. Big flares on our sun have the energy of billions of atomic bombs. E.B. Lacerdi's monster flare was 10,000 times more powerful. Incredibly, even these massive flares are just a flicker on the cosmic scale.